Now, the commander of the Iranian army's uh, ground forces says recent remarks by the U.S. president against Iran's IRGC have further united all armed forces in Iran. General Kiyomar Zedari made the comment during a ceremony held to unveil a new cannon called Ashura, which marks the latest achievement by the Iranian army. Press TV's Qaimbar Nadari brings us more. Iran's army has a new cannon. The commander of the Iranian army's ground forces told Press TV that the standard 155mm cannon is intended to develop and demonstrate technology, which could support a gun-based solution to counter rockets, artillery, and mortars. He also said the army will continue to produce and upgrade the existing guns, which have certain logistics advantages. This is a new move by the ground forces. We have upgraded the existing guns, particularly when it comes to modernizing and adding precision fires to infantry carriers in armed combats. We have also changed our tactics from defense to offense in case there is a need for it. To this end, we need to have factories like this to produce and upgrade our guns. This is because the country is under sanctions and we have no choice but to become self-sufficient in producing our own weaponry. Elsewhere in his remarks, the Iranian general blasted U.S. President Donald Trump for imposing sanctions on the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, the IRGC, saying that Trump's move has further united all armed forces in Iran. The latest move by the U.S. president might create some problems for us on the ground. However, we are all in this together. The army will always stand by the IRGC to defend the lofty ideals of the Islamic revolution. And a threat against the IRGC is a threat against the Iranian army. We are all brothers in arms on this front line. Any bullet that's fired at this front line is in fact fired at both of us. A new weapon has already been fired at various targets. Research into its enhanced technology has the goal of extending the range and probability of success against any incoming threat. The computations are done on the ground in order to maximize probability of mission success. Military officials in Iran say the country will mass produce this state-of-the-art defense equipment which is designed to boost military forces capabilities in armed combats. They also say the country has made great advances in recent years in manufacturing other military equipment and systems. Tehran. Yemen's Ansarullah fighters launched yet another ballistic missile on Tuesday targeting a Saudi royal palace in Riyadh. The attack on the Yamama palace has been described by the leader of the popular movement, Abdel Malik al Houthi, as a new phase of retaliatory operations. A senior member of Ansarullah Political Bureau told Press TV that the new phase means the Saudi decision makers are now at the mercy of Yemen's ballistic missiles. Attacking the royal palace will certainly force Saudi rulers to reconsider their unlawful war and stop being used as a U.S. proxy. The ballistic attack has been described by many as a turning point in the Yemen's resistance against the Saudi aggression. In his televised speech on Tuesday, Ansarallah leader Abdel Malik al Houthi noted that Saudi Arabia's brutal war had failed to bring Yemenis into submission. Houthi made the remarks 1,000 days after the war was waged by the Saudi led coalition against Yemen. You are bombarding Sana'a, we hit Riyadh and Abu Dhabi. You attack Yemen's presidential palace in Sana'a, our ballistic missiles reach Yamama Palace in Riyadh. You attack our infrastructure, we will retaliate it. An eye for an eye. We will use all legitimate means to defend our people and our country and to confront your aggression. Abdel Malik al Houthi also said that the Arab coalition should be mistaken if it thinks the Yemenis will sit idle and do nothing while witnessing the atrocities committed against their women and children. In his speech, the Ansarullah leader made it clear that Yemen has come one step closer to realizing its right for self determination and making it free from foreign interference. We do accept a relation based on mutual interest, but reject the one that seeks to impose its will on our nation. The news of the latest attack on the Saudi royal palace filled Yemenis with joy and happiness across the country. They believe such attacks will make Saudi rulers reconsider seriously their brutal and unlawful war on their southern neighbor, which has so far claimed the lives of over 
13,600 civilians, mostly women and children. Mohammed Al Atab, Press TV, Sana'a. The development of the transport machine, the loading vehicle, the loading and unloading equipment for the air defense missile system S-500 is to be launched in 2018, said CEO of Rostec Corporation Sergei Kimezov. The technical and scientific groundwork laid by NPP start named after AIS and has given Technod and Amica a great head start in implementing this project. The enterprise is highly competent and experienced in the development of transport machines. Loading and transport loading machines for various air defense missile systems and S-500 will be no exception, noted Sergei Kimezov. The S-500 is intended to replace the S-300 missile in Russia's multilayered air defense system and complement the S-400, which would handle more routine anti-aircraft duties and intercepting short and medium-range ballistic missiles. The S-500 developed by Almaz anti is expected to be the world's most powerful weapon of its kind. Its specifications are classified, but the S-500 is estimated to have a range of 600 kilometers, to be capable of tracking and engaging 10 ballistic targets simultaneously, and possibly shot down satellites in low Earth orbit.